welcome my dear friends so today we are going to see a software by name site 51 uh, I'll show you how to use this software uh, after downloading software you can see an icon by name site 51 click on it uh, the moment you clean uh, window will be open something like this and you can see already written program will be there no need to worry I want to write my own program I don't want to use it so I want you to remove this to remove this steps is very simple click on project you can see here our option by the name close project click on it your project the old one will be closed now you want to create a, your own new project click on it say new project click on it. Uh, you can type your name uh, the project name I'll type my name M. oh sorry it's already existing so I'll say only a fire device for those uh, I'll say open uh, this is what you will get in window in this select 8051 here you can see 128 bytes RAM is been selected now click on source file uh, this is what is being created by default by your software no need to worry about this this is something like .c extension file uh, I want to write an assembly language so I don't prefer this so I'll remove this I don't have any use of it also and also I want to remove this it's of no use for me now I want to create an ASM file so I click on add a window will be opened I'll say a file name you can give any name or the project name itself nothing will happen and here you need to select dot ASM file uh, click on open a window will be open and you can see this file name dot ASM visible over here and say ok the moment you click ok you will get a file name dot ASM here and a editor window now here you can type your code move I'll say a simple code move a comma hash 22h and move b comma hash 33h now after typing code I'll go for compile click on build I'll get zero warnings and zero errors it implies that my code is correct now I'll click on tools simulator I'll get a window something like this wherein I have my code over here and uh, serial communication whatever characters are to be transmitted or received that will be displayed here this is your memory window and this is used while dealing with embedded C and this is your register window where you can see the contents of registers I am using two registers A and B A. so here is accumulator A and register B now I want to execute this there are two ways one is run and one is step by step something like this now you can use step by step if you want to know the contents changes in the registers like how contents are getting changed in the register step by step and uh, when you go for run no doubt it works same like step by step but uh, the changes will happen very fast you may not be able to track changes so easily so as a beginner if you want to learn how changes are happening and I want to analyze code then you can go step by step click on first step so as per expectation 22 should be loaded in it after execution of this instruction let us see will it happens or not yes it is happening 22 is loaded in it then we'll see next one yeah this is what you will get when you use this software don't worry just click yes come back press enter add one label L and say as jump and again there is no specific reason to use just I want to no, what is happening here that's why I'm adding one line extra to it you can simply add move a comma B also nothing will happen so I just want to see what is happening here that's why I added this line so again compile build tools simulator then again uh, see the contents of accumulator 00 okay fine now again 22 is expected in a after execution yeah that is what we can see here. next after next line 33 is expected in B yes that is what we got here um, this even if you execute that as jump L will jump to L only nothing will happen uh, to get more clarity I'll add one more line saying that add a comma B now again compile build tools simulator and I'll go step by step same 22 33 and 22 plus 33 is 55 and is expected in A let me see whether it happens or not yes we got 55 in A so this is how you can use this software site 51 uh, 
thanks for your patient for this session uh, feedbacks are always welcome comments are always appreciable I would like to have comments from you thank you